All right. The Word of God says we walk by faith, not by sight. What is faith according to the Word of God? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. How do we how do we obtain faith? According to the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So much wisdom found in the word of God, the greatest book ever written. It's actually not a book, but a many, many books rolled into one. What is the Word of God according to Hebrews 4.12? The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, divides even unto soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. And so a lot of times our mind and our heart are in battle, constant battle. We think something, we think that it's okay to do, we think that we, you know, we're fine, we're in a safety zone, we can go ahead and do it, but you know, our our heart knows the truth and what we need to do and what we shouldn't do so don't don't let your mind play tricks on you because it will that devil he will try to convince you he's he's gonna lie to you and tell you you know you can go ahead and do something but you know you shouldn't and uh, so don't let your mind play games on you always go with your heart and what you know is best and uh, just try to make time to uh, to get into the Word. If if you've never really picked it up and read, start out with like uh, the Book of Proverbs, a great great book, 31 chapters, I believe it is. So if you read a chapter a day in a month's time, you will go through it, and it's it's a great place to start. And then get into your Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and, and learn. And uh, a lot of people find the Old Testament boring. It's really not. You have some great, great stories and things that took place in the Old Testament from Moses leading Israel out into the wilderness. You know, God proved himself to them time and time and time again. And they were heathens. They just wanted to do their own thing. Here Moses is up on the mountain receiving the word of God and receiving the Ten Commandments. And, you know, here they are building a golden calf, you know, below the mountain and dancing around and worshiping this golden calf when God's coming to them as a pillar of fire by night and a cloud during the day you know it just he, he's sitting there proving himself every minute of every day and here they are you know doing their own thing it's just like what you see today and uh, we look at the story of Samson there ain't a man alive that could whip that man no Brock Lesnar nobody Bruce Lee I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan. Bruce wouldn't stand a chance. Samson would have tossed him around like like he was nothing. And, you know, there ain't no sidekick that would have taken that man out. Samson was a beast. And uh, his strength came from God. But what did he do? He fell. Who did he fall to? Delilah. He let this woman entice him. And he revealed his secret, the secret of his strength to this woman. She cut his hair, and his strength left him. 
So we can see so many stories that are just we see it in our in our modern society, you know, women and enticing men, men enticing women. It's just, you know, you get with the wrong person, it can ruin your life, and it can really mess up your life. And it's just find the person that God would have for you, you know. And I'm not a person that believes that there's that one special person for everybody, you know. It, it still comes down to choice. I mean, look at Adam and Eve. You know, Adam, you know, God took a rib from Adam, created woman out of that rib. So woman has always been a part of man, you know, women have one rib more than men. Why do you think that is? You know, just a coincidence? No. And so, Adam, after Eve was created, he still had to choose to be with her. He still had free will, the ability to control his own mind. He could have been like, God, this woman is driving me nuts. Here I am doing what you asked me to do. I'm naming all these animals, making sure that they're all right, that, you know, they're getting enough food and doing all this stuff that you asked me to do. And she's sitting here telling me what I need to name them and everything, giving me all these goofy names. No, it, it's my job. I'm going to do it. C could you make me another woman? This Eve, uh, she's driving me nuts. Can't do nothing without her being right there on my behind every minute of every day. Adam still had to choose, see? So when you meet somebody, you, you got to make sure that you get to know them and that, uh, you know, it's the right person for you. So even God will lead somebody special into your life, but you still got to choose them. You still got to make that choice on your own. Do they have some good qualities that are going to be you know, beneficial to me, or are they, are they going to be the right partner for me, you know, and don't always go by looks, fellas, ladies, because it ain't all about looks, do they have some characteristics that are going to be beneficial to you and to your life, are they going to be somebody good to hook up with or not, do they have issues, do they have, you know, Smoking problems, drinking problems, smoking a little weed on the side, buying weed from God knows who. I mean, it's just, you know, in your own mind what's good for you and what's not. So, just keep those things in mind and uh, just try to live the best you can day by day. And uh, surround yourself with good people and people that are going to encourage you daily. And... Uh, that's just something we need to do so just this is just a word today and uh i just kind of went on on the fly nothing really prepared i just it's what god had for me today to share with you and i hope everybody's having a good new year so far you guys take it easy be blessed